guys welcome back to my channel today's video is all about my recent trip to lake garda italy we spent there almost two weeks and visited nine towns around the lake so i can't wait to share with you all the amazing things we did and saw during our time there lake garda is the largest lake in italy with a surface area of 330 square kilometers or 143 square miles. It is located in northern Italy between regions of Lombardy, Trentino Alto and Veneto. The lake is 52 kilometers or 32 miles long and has maximum width of 17 kilometers which is 10 and a half miles. Our trip started in Verona which is a stunning city in northern Italy. We spent a few days there before making our way to Lake Garda. My boyfriend Jonathan filmed our stay there so I will link his video down below if you want to check it out. Once we arrived at Lake Garda, we stayed in a cozy Airbnb in Brinzona Sul Garda, a charming little town on the eastern shore of the lake. From there we explored some towns and villages that surround the lake. After the breakfast, which was my favorite protein yogurt bowl, we decided to head to Malcesine, a beautiful medieval town with the narrow streets, old stone buildings and a castle perched on a hilltop. That was our first stop. After checking the castle, we decided to have a hike to experience the view of the castle and lake from above. We did a short hike, which took us an hour and a half to the point of Santa Maria. After the hike, it was time for lunch and we made our way back home. So we just got back home from our little hike which was not really very little <laughs> and now we're going to put together some lunch and for lunch we'll have uh, pasta with chicken, some pasta and just some small things we bought in a supermarket the day before. So this is our lunch, pasta with chicken and pasta and just some antipasti. Looks delicious. So we just finished our lunch that was delicious and super full and uh, now we will rest a bit and then maybe go to explore another city and I wanted to show you our Airbnb I think that's a very nice and uh, calming space with a view from a bed to the lake and also we can sit in the garden we were sitting in the, gar in the garden the days before it was a bit warmer we we're still in the beginning of an April or in the end of March, beginning of April, and it is uh, quite chilly, I think it's about 12, de 12 degrees, so we're wearing jackets, uh, but it's still very nice, fresh air and uh, calming atmosphere here. that day was Garda, a peaceful and charming place that is perfect for a relaxing stroll. It's time to leave this Airbnb. We, stayed, we spent here three nights. It was really amazing experience. I like our garden and just, uh, yeah, the view and the area is very beautiful. And now we are moving uh, to another Airbnb, which is uh, Riva del Garda. And we will be up, staying up in mountains in the small city called Dro. So we'll see how that Airbnb will look like. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope we'll like it as well. Before we have some time for checking and we are going to check a waterfalls uh, nearby. So yeah, let's hit the road. <music> In 
Before going to see waterfalls, we stopped by Riva del Garda to have a short stroll and also to have some sweet breakfast at our favorite pasticceria there. We came several times during our stay and everything was very delicious. My favorite was Coda de Ragosta with pistachio cream. The Cascata del Varona are a pair of waterfalls that fall into a vertical cave located 3 km northwest on the northern end of Lake Garda and the city of Riva del Garda. The waterfall is part of the park and the entrance ticket costs 6 euro per person. We enjoyed the experience there, but we were pretty wet after, so don't forget your raincoat. Now we're at Lake Teno, Lago di Teno. It's 15 minutes drive up in the mountains and it's the mountain lake with very, very blue water. You can see it now, even with that weather, the water is super blue and nice color, like in Caribbean Sea. <laughs> but I think in summertime it would be like, the colors will pop much more, but that's also very very nice scenery in color. We are in our new apartment. It looks very nice. We're inside of the mountains. Uh, I will show later the terrace and everything. And now we're going to eat antipasti salad and bread, which everything we bought today fresh. Okay, this is a new day and uh, I'm ready to go. The weather is super nice, good visibility. Hopefully we'll see today more than yesterday, mountains and lake. The whole beauty of mountain and lake. And now we're going to go to a coffee factory or like where they, uh, where they prepare coffee and you can try different types of coffee and maybe buy something with us. Um, I like coffee a lot, so hopefully we can taste some good coffee and then yeah, take something with us home and then after we are going to uh, do a small hike slash walk uh, yeah, to, to see some nice sceneries uh, and then we'll see what we'll do next, but yeah, it will be just a chill day and I will try to capture some, some interesting parts of it. Okay, we arrived at coffee museum. I was wrong, it's not a coffee factory, it's coffee roastery and museum. And here we can see different uh, machines with what coffee is made and also the history of coffee. It's very interesting that coffee was originated by Arabs, so they first started to, uh, to roast coffee and drink it. And then it was distributed all over the Europe by Venetian uh, merchants and then coffee became very popular in uh, Europe. So we'll have a look here and then we'll go to try some coffees downstairs because they have a nice cup. Okay, now we are going to try three different coffees. Um, one is uh, called Diamante, very uh, more like at 92% Africa. And then we also decided to try one with hazelnut notes called Platino. And then the other one is Bio coffee, like Bio blend with vanilla, citrus, and honey. 
notes. So we'll see if we will taste all of them <laughs> in that coffee and then we can choose what we can take home. little walk slash hike now and we didn't walk that much but we already have amazing view here behind me with the colorful buildings and black garden and mountains Next stop for today. <laughs> what? Next stop for today is uh, Lago di Doblino. It's another small lake near Lake Garda, and uh, they have a very nice, beautiful medieval castle. So yeah, it will be a short walk near the lake, and then we will go back home to prepare for dinner. So, Now I think it's very also noisy, but we will have a dinner now. We ordered a lot of special dishes, Italian classics and also classics from the region. So um, I'm waiting for. It's time to go to train. It's been a long time with train. We trained when we uh, next day when we arrived to Lake Garda, and then we had like three or four days without training as we were like doing some hiking and biking. But today, uh, we decided we need to do the training, the workout. It will be full body workout. So let's check the local gym here. We're lucky that we don't need to drive because the gym is right away in the city, in the town. So we're going to check.
are back home after our workout changed and ready to go for a bike ride. We are going to ride to another city. There is a special bike road here and I see already a lot of people riding bikes today because the weather is good. So, yeah, we are going to hit the road as well. already evening and now we are going to try another restaurant around uh, it's called La Casina and it is a quite famous restaurant I think here in that area because it was uh, captured in some TV show I guess it's more like um, very like Michelin style restaurant with small portions and interesting like flavors and combinations but still um, with the topic of like local cuisine Italian so we'll see how we'll like it this is the most beautiful presentation I ever had I think in my life <laughs> even more beautiful than I do at home I have ravioli with the sausage and potato and some cheese sauce. Okay, this fish. And the mains I arrived. And this is beef, tenderloin steak with some big potatoes. Bok choy. relocated again to the small town called Limone Solgarda. We're going to stay here just one night before heading to another location uh, but now we're going to explore that small town. It's uh, already another side of the lake so the scenery is a little bit different and yeah it looks the same amazing as, <laughs> as on the other side. Walking around uh, Limone Silgarda, it's very nice and beautiful. But unfortunately, it is very touristy, and there are no like local spots at all. I would say everything looks like the food and even gelato looks a bit bad, like just for a crowd, tourist crowds. So we're going to check some places we found on Google Maps and see if we can sit somewhere for a snack and maybe a drink, and then later we go to have dinner at some places which are recommended to us. <laughs> okay, we found Cortiletto. We found some nice place called Cortiletto. These are very nice drinks. I took non-alcoholic lavender spritz. Tastes amazing. And we also ordered bruschetta to share just a small snack before dinner.
before leaving Limon and Sulgar that we couldn't miss Santiago del Sol at this picturesque walking path. Unfortunately, we didn't make it far, but even though it was already breathtaking, I highly recommend to check out that path for their breathtaking views and picturesque sceneries. Okay, I'm back here. We're already relocated to the place called uh, Sirmione. This is our last stop for three days, for three nights here. And we just checked in in our hotel. It's very nice, four-star hotel. Uh, we booked it because I wanted to have some spa experience, like thermal spa. So we have that included into our stay. And now we're going to explore Sirmione. Walking for some time, and we're already out of uh, the peninsula. It was pretty long, I think we were walking like 40 minutes to get to some less touristy area, and it's very nice. It looks here very calm, and there are some nice boutique hotels, so really has a vibe. And now we sit down for aperitivo. I have, I'll show it. I have non alcoholic spritz coffee just farm by for our first dinner in Sirmione area we decided to go a bit further and out of touristy paths and we ended up in absolutely authentic Cascina della Taverna, a steak restaurant with superb Italian local dishes. We actually ended up going there two times during our stay in Sirmione. Lasagna was delicious because it's been a long time we wanted to try lasagna in Italy. ordered the horse steak. The waiter said it should be very soft and very nice. I have never tried horse meat before as a steak. So yeah, let's try. Mm. It's even a little bit rare. Yeah. Like I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's very soft. Okay, it's a new day. We just had amazing breakfast at our hotel. We we're super full and now we decided to walk a little bit before our like spa appointment. So we're going to go to the castle which is located just in front of our hotel because it's pretty empty now. Uh, and yeah, we'll just use that opportunity. So let's go in. So we made it on top of the castle and it looks really amazing. This is the best a well-preserved castle all over the lake guard and there are really a lot of castles here we saw a lot when we were passing different towns and that one really looks quite fascinating i would say it is a two wall castle you have one wall outside and then the castle itself for the better protection and also the whole castle is surrounded by water which was even more difficult to attack the castle back in medieval times. Sermione, this was included into our hotel like five hours stay here. 
so we're going to try different uh, different swimming pools and different saunas and just enjoy the day it's very sunny outside and it's very nice to be outside on the sun even it's like 12 degrees <laughs> the water is warm yeah the water is very warm so yeah, I'm looking forward but we need to wear a stupid hat <laughs> <laughs> day of vacation and we have another spa day it's another spa directly in our hotel it's a bit smaller but still the pool is very nice and they have sauna I think I'm not going to go to sauna today but the pool is very nice and hot and uh, yeah we're going to enjoy two hours here and then to to go to our and then to go to explore some more stuff which is in the area During spa we decided to go for our last stroll around and we ended up visiting two more towns Lazize and Bardolino where we did some ceramics shopping, enjoyed gelato and had a walk on Lungomar Okay, we just arrived to Bardolino which is just three kilometers from Garda where we were I think around one week ago but we came from another another side so with that we're closing the whole ring of trip around Garda and yeah we're going to check the town out and then sit somewhere for dinner here driving back home to Prague two weeks at Garda flew very fast but really enjoyed it and I can recommend you to visit the beautiful place and visit more towns like we did stay in several parts of the lake because it all has its own vibe and just atmosphere and uh, different yeah, food maybe, a restaurant, so it's really uh, nice to explore here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video, bye!